Hi everyone, welcome back to Astro in Focus. Today we're going to be taking a look at a portable solar telescope from SV Boney. So included with this all-in-one package is everything you need to get up and running for solar observing. This is gonna be a great portable setup for any of you that are traveling to the eclipse that's upcoming in April, or anybody that just likes a small portable setup that loves to do solar observing. You get a small tripod, which is a little short for adult users, but it's gonna be perfect for those outreach events where you have the younger astronomers. Typical little ball mount, small portable design, very lightweight, includes a star diagonal and an eyepiece. Also a nice included feature is a solar finder here, which I found to be very accurate. Now this telescope is a white light solar telescope. It has a special film on the front objective to allow safe viewing and imaging of the sun. If you pull off this dew shield, you can see the white light filter here. Now this is a thin film, and if it does get punctured, the telescope is no longer safe to use for imaging or visual use. So you'll wanna make sure that this is protected. Now ideally, I would have liked to see a clear lens over front of this to permanently protect and encase this film. Included is a dust cap that will help during travel to cover and protect that film. Another great feature of this portable telescope is the inclusion of a solar finder. Now a solar finder works, you have a small hole in the front and it projects a small dot on the back. Now there's crosshairs on the center of this back part here. And as you rotate the telescope, remove it, you can see that once you're dead center there, the sun will be in the field of view of the eyepiece. Now I did find that mine was slightly off, so I know that it just has to be right about there. But even whenever it's dead center like that, you can still see looking through the eyepiece, the image of the sun, it's just not perfectly centered. This is a great way to get yourself quickly lined up on the sun and not have to try to eyeball up alongside, which is not safe to do, because then you're still looking at the sun, even though it would be indirectly. Another way, is looking at the shadow of the sun. Now say you don't have a solar finder. What's the safest way to align and point your telescope at the sun? Well, you can see here, use the shadow that's cast by your telescope. You can see it's very narrow. If you're off, you can see that shadow widens. So what you wanna do is get your telescope to the point where it's the smallest shadow, and you'll know that you're pointed directly at the sun. And once again, thankfully, this telescope does have a built-in solar finder, which makes this setup very quick and easy for all astronomers. So as mentioned earlier, the tripod is short, but it makes it good for either tabletop use or you can extend these legs out and put it on the ground. You can also see this is a very lightweight setup, which is great for backpacking or hiking. Just like that, you're ready to go. Once you have your tripod set up on the ground, I find it best to leave these knobs here that adjust the movement, left, right, up, down, your typical alt as movement, slightly loose to where the telescope will not drop down like that, but it'll still stay underneath its own weight, but allow you to make fine adjustments using the whole telescope like that. Now I do have the sun lined up centered with the solar finder. Now let's see what kind of view we get. Now as I said earlier, it's not perfectly aligned, but it is in the field of view of the eyepiece that's included with the telescope. So I just have to make a minute adjustment. And wow, that is a great view especially with the upcoming solar maximum, a telescope like this is going to be 
perfect. With the included eyepiece, you can clearly see the full disc of the sun, including today's current sunspots. This is a great setup if you're looking just for an entry level start into solar observing and be able to do it safely. Or if you're looking for a portable setup, you don't have to carry a five, six, seven pound telescope, glass or film filter, just an all-in-one package. Now you can also move this up even a little bit higher. If you loosen this knob here, you can raise the center stock up and down for taller or shorter observers. I do notice that the tripod that's included is a little stiff, but I expect that it will loosen up with some use. I can definitely see myself using this a lot for solar outreach with large groups of people. I'd like to give a big thank you to SV Boney for sponsoring this video and making this possible. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this telescope or any of the other SV Boney products, check out the link below in the description. I'll link to not only this telescope itself, along with their other products that they have available. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, what's the next step? Are there any upgrades? How can I make this even better? Well, let's take a look at that. So here we've mounted the SV Solar Telescope onto their Alt-As SV225 mount. Now this is a very heavy duty mount, a little overkill for this, but boy did it increase the stability. Now you will lose some portability because this mount is a little bit heavier than the entire SV Boney package, but the ability to fine tune adjustment, especially during eclipse day, is gonna be the setup that I'm going to be using. With this adjusting focus, there's no wobbling through the eyepiece. And making those adjustments, since it's not a tracking mount, is very easy to keep the sun in the field of view. Now, if you wanna learn more about this SV Boney SV225 Alt-As mount, make sure to subscribe because I'll be doing a video solely dedicated to this mount. Now let's talk about how you can use this telescope to do some imaging. So now we have this telescope set up for astrophotography. I've connected the new SC311 camera by SV Boney. It's a wireless camera that allows multiple users to connect to it, control and capture all at the same time. With a optional 0.5X reducer, it allows a full disc image of the sun. As you can see here, it's slightly soft, but it is a great full disc image. I personally prefer the image without the reducer. While you don't get the full disc, it is much crisper and allows you to easily identify those sunspots. Now keep an eye out for a future video dedicated to the SC311 camera, because this is gonna be a great camera that will be able to be used not only as a quick grab and go, doesn't require any computer, just download the app, whether on Android or iPhone. You also have the option to connect it via USB to your computer. It has a built-in battery, so if you have a small portable setup, you can just take it, connect to your phone, and get imaging in a matter of minutes. Thanks for stopping by today to check out the SV Boney SV510 Solar Scope. This is gonna be a great scope that I'm gonna be using for a very long time. Make sure to subscribe, that way you don't miss out on future content. Until next time, clear skies.